Welcome to Science Tree Channel. Today's topic is classification of organic compounds from class 10th, chapter number 11. Before diving into the topic, what are organic compounds? Organic compounds are the compounds in which carbon is covalently linked with other elements, like with hydrogen, oxygen or nitrogen and so many else. As we know that there are number of organic compounds are present, so that's why we have to classify them. Because classification makes easy to study, makes easy to memorize things. Now here, the long chains of hydrocarbons can be classified as open chain or acyclic compounds. Means that the hydrocarbons which are present in a straight form, in a chain form, will be known as open chain or acyclic compounds. The word acyclic compound is very important. Most of the time it used to come in exams that what is the other name of open chain hydrocarbons. So that will be acyclic compounds. And the next is closed chain. When hydrocarbons form rings, they will be known as closed chain hydrocarbons or we can also say them cyclic compounds. Let's discuss them one by one. Open chain or acyclic compounds. Open chain compounds are those in which the end carbon atoms are not joined with each other. In this way, they form a long chain of carbon atoms. So we can say straight chain compounds or branched chain compounds. There is another name used for acyclic compounds. Do you know that? Yes, that is aliphatic compounds. So we can call them as open chain compounds, acyclic compounds, aliphatic compounds, straight chain compounds or branched chain compounds. To make it more simple, let's take an example. What is this? Yes, this is butane. So now, it has four carbon atoms. And we all know that these four carbon atoms are arranged in a straight line. And just satisfying their valences. Carbon can satisfy its four valences, can form four bonds. So that's why here carbon is forming four bonds with hydrogens. Straight chain compounds are those in which carbon atoms linked with each other through a single, double or triple bonds, forming a straight chain. It means it doesn't matter that carbon is forming single bond, double or triple bond with the other carbon. The thing which matters for the straight chain compound is that it should be written in a straight form. Branched chain compounds. Now, in this case, again we are taking butane, but now Butane is not present in a straight chain form. One of the carbon atom is arranged in a branched form. Now if I have to select a parent chain, the parent chain will be three carbon atoms. Straight chain. And one of the carbon atom is arranged in a branched form. So this is also an example of acyclic compounds or we can say aliphatic compounds. Branch chain compounds are those in which there is a branch along a straight chain. So now here one carbon is forming a branch with other carbons. 
let's move toward closed chain compounds so now closed chain compounds or cyclic compounds are those in which the carbon atoms at the end of the chain are not free they are linked together to form a ring they can be homocyclic or carbocyclic compounds what does it mean it means that the cycle is made up of only carbon atoms and other is heterocyclic compounds when any other element come in the ring of carbon atoms it will be known as heterocyclic compounds homocyclic compounds or carbocyclic compounds contain rings which are made up of only one kind of atoms and that is carbon atoms homocyclic compounds are further divided into two classes let's memorize them aromatic compounds and the second is alicyclic compounds now we have to think about it that what are aromatic compounds the word aromatic comes from aroma which means fragrance so now it's a very interesting thing about aromatic compounds that they produce fragrance these organic compounds contain at least one benzene ring please memorize it aromatic compound means that they contain one benzene ring a benzene ring is made up of six carbon atoms with three alternating double bonds and they are called aromatic because of aroma or smell they have they are also known as benzoic compounds now let's take an example of aromatic compounds benzene and naphthalene this is benzene having six carbon atoms joined together with alternative double bond and this is naphthalene in which two benzene rings join together now what are alicyclic or non benzoic compounds the name indicates that it doesn't contain benzene in them so carbocyclic compounds which do not have benzene ring in their molecules are called alicyclic or non benzoic compounds alicyclic compounds doesn't contain any benzene ring like here there is no benzene ring but four carbon atoms join together in a ring and that will be known as cyclobutane because butane is not present in a straight chain form and it will be known as cyclohexane so let's discuss them here this is carbon let me select the laser yes number 1 carbon number 2 carbon number 3 carbon and number 4 carbon and these carbons join together to give a ring while these small balls are hydrogens again in cyclohexane six carbon atoms are join together to give a ring and known as cyclohexane now move towards heterocyclic compounds the word hetero represents different so what is different here in this case cyclic compounds that contain one or more atoms other than that of carbon atoms in their rings are called heterocyclic compounds the word cyclic is representing a ring and hetero is representing something different from carbon 
So let's study how. Heterocyclic compounds. Now what is this? Yes, this beautiful structure is quinoline. Now how it is different from homocyclic compounds? Because it contains nitrogen in it. This blue color is representing nitrogen. Quinoline have nine carbons in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. While one nitrogen makes it heterocyclic compound. Let's take other examples. This is thiophene having sulfur with carbon ring. One sulfur is present with four carbon atoms. And what is this? This is pyridine, having nitrogen in a carbon ring. When two rings are joined together with the nitrogen, that will be quinoline. And a single ring of carbon atoms with nitrogen is pyridine. Now it's a time to revise the classification. And I hope that you will also join me in it. So, first of all, organic compounds. Organic compounds are the compounds having carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in them. And after that, it is open chain compounds or cyclic compounds. In open chain compounds, it includes straight chain compounds like butane. And if I talk about Branched chain compounds, I will say 3 methyl or 2 methyl butane. As we know that branched should be named separately. Then cyclic compounds. It can be homocyclic compounds or heterocyclic compounds. Homocyclic compounds can be alicyclic compounds like cyclohexane or Aromatic compounds includes benzene ring. And if I talk about heterocyclic compounds, it can be quinoline, pyridine, thiophene and so many others. Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching. Have a great day. And I'll be grateful if you subscribe the channel and like the video.